Hello, hello, everybody in YouTube land. Welcome back to the Bearded Tamper's channel. I am the Bearded Tamper. Just wanted to pop on here <clears throat> and show you guys some things that I've been doing lately. <clears throat> been pretty busy with the new baby. Um, wonderful, beautiful little boy, two months old now. In case you didn't hear, but uh, been able to get out in the shop and throw together a couple uh, couple new pipes. Now the last pipe was made out of that I showed was made out of Osage Orange, and um, these pipes are made out of well, the one I'm smoking now. They're Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipes. Um, and one of them, they're factory seconds, so there's no, there's no fault of Missouri Meerschaum why I modified them. It's just, I wanted to, so I did. I got, you know, I got the bag of, uh, 12 pipes, you know, you get the bag of 12 pipes for like $25 or something. Um, but, so I am about an hour a little under an hour and a half away from Missouri Mersham in um, Washington, Missouri. So I took a trip up there and got a bag, got a couple other things, and um, with the intentions of modifying some cobs, and I finally got around to it. So what am I smoking? What am I smoking it in? First, I am smoking the Bearded Tamper cob with the Missouri Meerschaum bowl. And I'm smoking some Cornell and Deal Old Joe Crants. Mm, delicious, delicious tobacco. Um, it's a, it's a burley with um, some Perique and Red Virginia. It is a ribbon coarse cut blended by Bob Ronowski. Um, and I believe it was named in honor of his grandfather, who was, um, the way I understand it, like his pipe smoking mentor, you know. So that's, that's pretty cool. And it's a delicious tobacco. I love it. Absolutely love it. I get to smoke it all day long. And I do. <laughs> so, anyway. Missouri Meerschaum Cobb. Um, so here is the old where the old stem was. And if you guys don't know what a Missouri Meerschaum cob looks like, just wait one second. Missouri Meerschaum cob. Um, so this is from the bag of the factory seconds. Here's one, you know, here's one. This one's got the cob stamp on it, on the stem. This one does too. So, basically, this was this, but it wasn't finished and it wasn't filled. You know, it was just a raw cob. But, so what I did was, where their stem was, I drilled it out. And on this particular one, I put a briar plug in it, and it was uh, it was a plateau, you know, part of the briar that I had cut off, and um, and I thought that would look cool to have some of the fill in it, you know, and still, you know, had some holidays in it that I I put my secret fill in, trying it out. That's I'm just trying different things out, and uh, I colored it, and and then I turned the stem on my on the lathe. And then I, when I was at there, at Missouri Meerschaum, I bought one of their bits. It's for, um, this bit is for their, it's like a Levat. I think they call it the Pony Express. You know, it, it looks a lot like this, but it's got a smaller bowl on it. And it's much smaller inside. But I like it. I like the Levat. And it's kind of a pencil shank. Billiard. Um... Pencil shank, Levat, maybe. 
But anyway, drilling the hole on a long stem like this, I'm, I'm not set up to do it on my lathe, so it's not that easy for me. I went through several stems and over a couple days finally got it right and um, hope I can duplicate that process again. So that's what this one is and uh, oh yeah and I did a briar plug you know on the bottom drilled it out drill just drilled it all the way through some of them come with a hardwood plug but it's, it's super thin and since I've got you know the the shank up I put a thicker plug in it <clears throat> so all briar plugs um, yeah so that's that one and then this is actually this is the first one that I did and you know the briar plug briar plug with an Osage orange shank on it you know and I used one of their original stems um, and it was bent you know it was it was bent like this and I just you know got the heat gun out and bent it back and these you know they they use just like plastic stems so you gotta be super careful and it still it deformed a little bit it, it didn't didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to but that's okay because it's it's still a good smoker this one's actually my wife's I gave it to her it was it was the better one but anyway another another billiard style wanted it to be you know just kind of straight I like the billiard style I like a lot of styles but good old classic shape so I'm using plaster of Paris you know to fill it and then some shellac no no uh, spar urethane spar urethane on this one and I used polyurethane on this one and you know you let them sit for a long time where you pick it up and you don't smell it anymore so <clears throat> I'm not I'm not concerned about anything and I, I don't I don't coat the bowl you know the inside of it you know I plug it make sure nothing gets in there I don't want to be smoking that stuff <laughs> I don't even want to smell it when I'm smoking it but you can't smell it anymore and so made a couple of those and I do intend on I need to get some more cobs that that are raw you know that don't have a coating on it because it's hard I mean I you know I can I'm sure I can restain it you know or, or do something with it but I kind of like to play with a raw cob <clears throat> get to do whatever I want with it but I don't know if you guys remember this this was my first pipe that I ever made it was from a hobby block that I got from pipes and cigars but the stem on it has has cracked you know and I don't know oh just over time it just cracked and it is and it goes all the way through down into the hole because you get juices that come out of it and I've tried you know grinding it down filling it plugging it and I just I really don't know what to do now at this point because it keeps leaking out <clears throat> and cracking <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> coming off a pretty bad head cold <clears throat> coffee that'll take it take it away yeah so <clears throat> I had a really bad head cold um, last week it was pretty bad feel much better though but anyways so I don't know I mean this is a good smoker but when they drilled it for whatever reason they didn't drill it straight to the bottom of the bowl you know it goes in kind of at an angle and then they went back in and drilled it straight to where when you put your pipe cleaner in, it only goes that far. It doesn't go all the way through, you know, so it's a drill and then a drill. 
there's a step there. It's it's not smooth, so you can't. You have to take it apart, and then you know re-angle your pipe cleaner and push it through. So that's that's a bit of a bear. This is not my favorite pipe. I mean, it, it it's a good smoking pipe. I like the way it feels in the hand. I like the uh, the little bend on it, half bent, but it's it has issues. Don't know. Still chugging away though. Smoking the tobacco and making tampers and modifying cobs. You know, it's fun. It is pretty fun. So that's kind of really. No, that's not kind of really. That is all I had to say. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Keep it short. Under 15 minutes is short for me, anyways. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, oh, I want to do just, I've been listening to the Pipe Magazine radio show podcast with Brian Levine, and I started listening, you know, but he only, they only come out once a week with a new podcast, so I'm going through their back catalog, and man, that's some good stuff. I love that podcast. Very, very informative. <clears throat> very smart people on there. They know what they're talking about. And a just a great enthusiast for the pipe smoking hobby. Um, one thing that he says all the time is get out there, smoke your pipes in front of people. Let them know that it's not a terrible, horrible, nasty, have to do habit kind of thing. That it's it's a pleasure that, that we love doing. And, um, and the more we expose people to it, you know, the more they'll understand that it's it's not a disgusting thing like some people want everybody to think that it is. Uh, check it out. Pipe Magazine radio show podcast. Um, great, uh, great information. Great, uh, great listen to. I love it. Put, put the earbuds in and just chug away on it. Anyways, smoke your pipes. Smoke it out in public. Let everybody see you enjoying it, and uh, have a good one, y'all. I'm the Bearded Tamper. <laughs>